as the fact that uh, we had an awful lot of help from America's prayers while we were in captivity and an awful lot of active help on, be, on our behalf to uh, press the government to uh, continue to make efforts to get, our, to get our release. I think that in those days, if you all, those of you who are old enough to remember 1968 with any degree of a clarity, I think you will recall that uh, President Johnson really considered that he had his hands full. In fact, on, in that year, he had so many things go wrong that he decided he wouldn't run again for president. And uh, that was a uh, that was an incredible uh, happenstance for a guy who who couldn't have been more of a politician. Part of the reason was the pueblo, and part of the reason that. Uh, he was a little bit on tender hooks there was Rosie, my wife here. Please stand up. <laughs> Rosie. <laughs> she did her best to make life miserable for that uh, rascal too. <laughs> <laughs> and she succeeded. I remember there was one thing that uh, that we were able to uh, to pull on the North Koreans as Skip was uh, mentioning some of the uh, efforts that uh, that worked for us. There was a phrase when I was a child that had been used on radio that uh, related to uh, Brody's ice cream. And the, as I remember, the the advertisement went something like this: "Let's all pee on Brody's ice cream." And even though I was uh, I was young, I was maybe 10 or 11 years old, I thought that was a terrible thing to do to Brody's ice cream. But I looked up the word and I found that it was a it was actually a, a word that meant a noun meaning an ode of praise. And so it just came back to me miraculously. God was always, uh, was always there to help us in, in captivity. And peon came on like a neon light to me. And I thought, by God, here's another place we can get these guys. And so we, I put into one of my very... Uh, Final, final, final confessions, as they call it, they termed them. I think this was somewhere in the vicinity of September or thereabouts. And uh, I was able to get them to buy the idea that we were all eager to pee on North Korea and to pee on Kim Il-sung and to pee on their army and navy. And uh, it was, uh, they actually put that in the news and they actually uh, broadcast it around the world. It was, uh, it was an amazing, uh, amazing happenstance. And I'm told that uh, uh, the Secretary of State who was Dean Rusk at the time, fell right out of his chair when he heard it. <laughs> so those were, those were the kinds of things that we were able to do at great risk to ourselves, uh, particularly uh, to the crew who, uh, as, I, as you all are aware and has been uh, mentioned here today, were doing their own best to, uh, get, uh, uh, to get an opportunity uh, to discredit the North Koreans. <coughs> North Korea still is a, is a huge thorn in the side of, the, of civilization. Maybe in all of your all's lifetime, we'll see an end to that uh, terrible, terrible regime that imposes, I think, the, the most brutality on their own, on their own people of any that has ever existed in the history of mankind, perhaps.